despite people insisting that Ghost Mouse can steal infinite loop. It's very clear on their page they do not support repeating loops. And so any way to make an infinite loop is going to be some dodgy workaround, like using a macro like Ola Hockey to play again, or copy pasting the script over and over again. I do not want that. That is something I absolutely want to avoid. Aside from the issue of not being able to loop, plain macro recorders suffer from three main issues. A lack of safety, a lack of debugging, and the difficulty of chaining together recordings. Macro recorders are dumb. They have no idea if what they're doing is the correct thing to do. So even if something goes wrong, it's going to keep on clicking and that's obviously going to flag your account. Debugging is an issue. The only way to view the recording is to play the recording back. But what if you made a 10 minute recording? Are you going to sit through, are you going to sit through the whole 10 minutes just to find out where that one issue was? It's a huge waste of time, you might as well play yourself. And then chaining together recordings. The typical method is to copy paste one script into another script. But you can imagine doing that for many, many recordings is going to get really difficult. And now they're all stuck in the same order unless you want to copy it multiple times into the same recording. The failsafe I've already covered in a previous video. But for the rest of the features, I had to make my own macro recorder. Introducing Norm's Macro Recorder. What, you expect a better naming scheme from a Java programmer? Nah. The key concept that separates my macro recorder from others is the concept of splitting recordings and then playing back the recordings randomly. In a single button press, you stop the previous recording, save it, and then start a new recording. This way the next recording will start from the same position and you can quickly make many rounds and then play them back randomly to effectively create longer and longer recordings with less time. Imagine one day you feel like playing the game. So you play the game but you make the recordings. And then another day you're lazy and you don't want to add recordings, that's fine. Just use your past recordings. But you can continuously add new recordings anytime you're not lazy. And so and so your overall base of recordings continuously grows over time. Of course, working with lots of separate recordings runs into the issue that there may be some recordings that are bad and you shouldn't be using. And that's why I made a debug interface. You can play back the recording, scroll through all your recordings, and then delete it from the same interface when you see, when you see that the recording is bad. During the playback, you can see clicks as full circles, click releases as empty circles, drags as thicker lines, moves as thinner lines, and you can see all the key presses as well. That's great and all, but what about dynamic environments? Can macro recorders handle those? Unfortunately, right now it won't. So things like complex bosses and mini games, they'll have to wait or just use the advanced bot clients that have been developed for years and years before this and stop using macro recorders. But for many activities, macro recording is fine and maybe that's good enough for you. In order to test this beast, what better way than trying to bot to Max? Wait a second. Maxcape. Mac. Macro recorder. Was this the secret all along? Starting with the usual snowflake, Iron Man stuff, questing here, questing that. And now to just start simple, bank standing. It's the simplest way to get a feel of whether this macro recorder is working well or not. A tip when making these split recordings is that you need to start and stop on the same state. So for example, when you're doing Herblor, you'll deposit inventory and then you split. Then you go about closing the bank cleaning the herbs, then when you go to deposit again, you click deposit and then you split again. With Herblore, the recordings are going to be a lot larger in file size 
because there's lots of movement, lots of clicking, and so that's going to increase the file size. For a more AFK skill, when the mouse is just sitting still, it doesn't increase the file size as it's just sitting there. The next easiest and fastest is probably fletching. Now, from the point of view of the macro recorder, it's basically the same, but there's a few nuances that are different to Herblore. Because when you start fletching, it takes a long time for the action to complete. If you misclick that first part, like say it lags or something, then you're going to spend the whole say 30-40 seconds doing nothing. It's not triggering the experience drop, and so the kill switch is much more likely to time out with longer actions like these. It also takes a lot longer to make a full recording of an action like this because you have to wait the full duration. So it's just a bit more annoying to do. So preferably I'd like to get up to doing darts or something like that where you can quickly make lots and lots of recordings. Looking at other skills that I can potentially try, there's quite a few skills which are quite problematic, but I will try my best. I won't be too quick to say this is a full on botting to Mac series. This is more of an experiment to see if macro recording is actually safe or not, and whether this randomization is helping. If you want to see a certain type of content, speak with your likes and views, because I made this ghost mouse for you ghost mouses out there. And apparently there's a lot of them.